Hi, thanks for coming back to the chopping block. You guys know how I feel about gimmick ammo, so you know I'm not going to be very gentle on these guys. But let's take a look at 300 blackout, 115 grain controlled chaos. Two, one, four, six. Okay, so it worked as advertised. The neck looks to be about 1.7 inches long, 1.7 to 1.8, so one and three quarters. Lots of fragmentation that came well away from the primary track as advertised. There's another piece over here. I may find some more later but it looks as though the deepest fragment that stayed inside the block anyway went to about 11 and a half no, yeah, about 11 and a half, maybe 11 and a quarter inches and roughly 3 inches from the primary track the penetration of the core was right about 19 inches, give or take so when I lifted the block up, I found this fragment just laying against the table. Looks like it might have come out somewhere in this vicinity. It's hard to be sure. It's an interesting shape. Kind of curled fragments there. It's almost like Almost like a TSX that failed. Kind of cool. Okay, so like I said a second ago, I have a bit of disdain for gimmick, gimmicky rounds. But when I see performance like this, I have to, I have to question that a bit because, yeah, sure, you know, fragmenting magical fairy flutes and whatnot are all stupid in pistol rounds. The only thing that really works well in pistol rounds that is better than full metal jacket are modern quality jacketed hollow points. But at rifle speeds, you can get away with a lot more. Um, as William at the Wound Channel said, <laughs> it's hard to mess up a rifle round. That said, you know, um, this did do exactly what it's supposed to do the fragments came off relatively early uh, the neck was pretty short and those fragments deviated well away from the main wound track plus the fragments themselves penetrated to almost the minimum penetration requirement for the whole projectile and of course the core of the projectile made it plenty deep some people would argue that it was too deep but i'd rather have too much than not enough overall this type of performance is exactly what we hail in a heavy OTM, like a 77 grain SMK or a Hornady 75 grain Bowtail hollow point. We look at early and dramatic fragmentation and we say, hey, that's great so long as the core gets deep enough. But then when it happens in a solid copper gimmicky round, we're a little bit more disdainful of it. And I'm not sure if that's warranted. Sure, it can be argued that the performance against barriers isn't great, but the performance against barriers from a heavy OTM isn't great either. Now, I'm certainly no expert myself. And I'm really not qualified to have an opinion on it. So I'd really like to hear what you guys have to say about it. All I can do is look at what the experts say and decide whether or not rounds meet with what they say is good. And 
generally overall 50,000 foot view, I'd say I, it's, it's hard for me to articulate a reason that this doesn't perform well. In any case, I'd like to hear your opinions. Make sure you leave a comment below. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you're already subscribed but you don't want to miss any videos, make sure you click the little bell icon down there and check the box to be notified every time a video comes out. Thanks a lot. Hope you have a great day. Oh, you got